so the next thing that we would like to do over here is to validate this particular form so when i click this one if this is an empty field we should see some error message over here right so let's go back to our add employee screen over here and on the top somewhere here uh, let's create a one field over here so let's go and i'll just create a let's create a final and i'll just call it underscore for our um, form key and that will be of a global key over here right and here we need to pass in the type of this global key that will be of a form form state right so we need a form state and uh, then once we have this form key we will go down to our form where is the form that we currently have so currently we don't have any form so we need to add a form over here so let's inside of this uh, column i think here we will set it as a form first of all form and then i think well, let's add this child over here and let me try to rearrange everything properly so we have a child of a form and here it has an option for the key and we will pass in the form key and inside this child we will again create a column over here and that should be of this one sorry not the drift dot column it should be of of the column that we want from the material that right and then i can just cut all of this uh, section we need to put it inside over there so we need it to set it over here so i need a children and inside this children i will paste this one just arrange it properly i think that should be fine so i need to it need to be here so let's arrange it properly yeah i think that should be fine so now we have a form and uh, we are setting we have set up the form key and uh, then the next thing is we need to validate so how do we validate that one is let's go down to the add employee over here and uh, when we let's set a condition right so first of all i'll just say a final and it will be of our age valid which is of equals to the underscore form key that we have that the current current state that we can get see you are current state dot the validate so this will go and actually validate so this is a nullable type and okay so this will validate the form and we can check the condition over here so if condition if each valid is uh, not equals to null right and if it is not equals to null and it's valid right so if it is true so if, if the form is valid then only we are going to set all of this so let me just cut this section and paste it over here and i think i have to remove this and what i need to close it over here okay so i think i mess up i just mess it up i think so let me just uh, redo everything um okay so i think i will first cut this section otherwise it will be messed up so i'll just pass it over here again that is good and the next is i need to show this one right so let collapse this one this is from the here so i don't have to close it i think so this is the one that i needed and this one do i need this one so i think i don't need that one all right so i think i don't need. i think i need that one so just cut this section and now uh, let me arrange it properly yeah i think that should be do the job for us is that correct yeah i think we don't have any error okay so i think we've made it 
and now it should validate the form for us so uh, if i go and hot reload everything or just to restart the application and if i go to let's say the add employee and let's say if uh, if i want to save it so you can see that the username cannot be empty right first name and last name all of this stuff so now we have a form validation over here so i can just paste in like uh, demo 9 right so just demo 9 and if i try to save in so you don't see an error over here but you are still seeing over here so that should be fine and we should do the same thing for you can just add the same thing for the validation for over here so if i go and uh, go to the edit employee page over here and the same thing that we have to do i can just copy the the this one from over here to the edit employee and just paste in over here and after we have that uh, i can just go and create the everything over here so here padding column and i can just go to here and i think i can just copy the whole child from here and i go to the edit page and if i just minimize this and if i just paste it over here yeah so we got that all of those right and yeah i think that should be fine so we have put it inside the form already and then we need to just validate over here so i have to do the same thing over here final uh, each valid which we can get it from the form key the the current state that we have the uh, validate so we will validate over here and this is a non -evolve type so i have to check it and here once we have that one i will have to say if condition and if the each valid is uh, not equals to the null and each valid so if it is true right so if it is true then we are going to um, get this all of this move inside so i think i have to copy somewhere till here i think so i nearly copied <laughs> okay it is i think my mouse problem so just cut this section and paste it inside over here okay i think that should be fine and yeah i think that should be fine okay so let let us try to run our application and let me just uh, arrange it properly and uh, let's let's try to update it and if i try to remove some field from here and try to save in then you will see that the username cannot be empty that's great right so this is how we can validate the form and uh, let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day